Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here at Kelly Builds. I am currently in the process of restoring this BMW 2002 and sharing kind of all the process of taking it apart, restoring it. So a couple weeks ago, I had recorded some clips of like an unboxing and just doing a couple of things in here, but it was kind of a crazy day here. And then my whole family ended up getting sick and then I ended up getting sick and I'm finally on the mend. So I figured it was a good time to jump back in and start recording and showing you guys what we were up to. So I will be inserting those clips after this just to kind of show you what we were doing. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Kelly Builds. On my channel, I will be restoring this BMW 2002. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little unboxing. I've got a ton of new parts to show you guys and kind of go through what we're gonna do with them. I'm going to be taking the starter out and we're gonna be testing it in the garage today to kind of see what we're working with. If you watched last week's video, you saw that we kind of got the car going a little bit. I've been putting oil in the cylinders, trying to get everything up and running and ready to go to try to get this motor working to get it on the street. And we'll just get right into it. like a little Christmas, Christmas box for me to get this car up and running. So first we have a new rotor. Ooh, ah. New set of wires. The ones that are in there are absolutely disgusting. So that will be nice to replace. New set of sparky plugs. Thank you. Can you give that back to daddy? Give it back to daddy. Ignition coil. can't remember what the heck this thing is called, but new, made in Turkey. Be replacing all of that nasty popcorn, all of the nasty popcorn gross seal that's there right now. Um, maybe I'll just show you guys too. I'm not going to do that today, but I'll just show you because if you haven't seen it before, it's just a mess and I'm excited to get it fixed up and to stop letting the moisture in there. So like I said, I'm not going to do this today, but desperate need of some fixing. That was the new stuff I wanted to just show you guys because we are moving along trying to get this going as quick and efficiently and cost efficient as possible. So now I'm just gonna pull this out and I'm gonna take the starter out and then we will get in the garage and we will test it. So I'm gonna start to take the starter out. I'm first gonna be unbolting um, and taking out some wires. And I thought I was going to be able to do this quickly, but before the rain, but it's looking like I might be caught in the rain. So let's hope that doesn't happen. All right guys, so welcome back. After a brief intermission and kind of gathering our thoughts on what we're gonna do to get this tested, instead of taking it out, we are going to do something a little different. We are gonna bridge the terminals of the solenoid together, see if we can get anything to come from it. Instead of trying to take it out 
and we're gonna have to like I was trying to look in there and see like easy ways to get it out the starter but it's really this is gonna be an, a way to bypass that and kind of just get in there a lot easier and yeah so we'll just get into it so we've got our big battery here that is going to be replacing the lack of battery in the car so I'm just gonna hook this up Whew, use all my strength hook up this side So those are all hooked up. So now I'm gonna go in. Don't touch anything else other than the, the two this terminals you wanna touch. You're sticking the it. screwdriver too far back. See? So like, put the screwdriver on it, and then slide back until you hit the other one. As you guys heard, the starter is spinning, but it's just not working properly. So for us, that's gonna look like either getting it rebuilt or just buying a new one, which probably buying a new one is going to be the easiest, most efficient way to get this done. So that's going to be the next purchase, perhaps. I do need to buy my own battery just to stick in here so we stop using that little guy. All right, so since that was pretty lackluster of a video we are just going to put in some of the new stuff that i got just kind of replace what is easy just so oh, as i drop everything out like <laughs> replace what is easy make it look a little bit better and hopefully make it so that we can get the car starting So this is obviously busted. It looks like an octopus, but it'll be nice to replace that. It'll look a lot better. Is there an extra wire with this or just these? Oh, okay, all right. It's in there.
we'll stick this perhaps just back in here for now. Just while I wait. Maybe I'll just rest it like in there. I'm gonna be taking another intermission of the day. The 700th stop to the day, but I am a mom to those who probably don't even care. So yeah, taking care of the kitties comes before this project car. So I will loop back either later today or I will just continue this video another day. I'm going to be removing this rubber here. It's super nasty. I'll get a little bit closer so you can see it. Um, but yeah, replacing this because our garage is super tiny and my car stays outside for the most part. So that's why it's hard to also get a lot of work done because my husband has customer cars in here and he has his truck in here. So we're tight on space. So if we can get the seal all taken care of, it's better outside, less yucky to happen. I'm also gonna share the next thing that my husband and I are gonna be working on is this 36.3 window. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it. So of course, a lot needs to be done on that. But again, my husband and I will be doing a lot of work on this. He works with metal. He's gonna be doing a ton of body work with it, but I'll do, I'll show you like a little clip of it just so you could also kind of see what it details. It was totally in a fire. So a lot needs to be done with that. So here is just one more look at this seal. It's pretty much just coming off for the most part, but it's nasty and it will start to make the car look a little bit better, even though clearly this is not helping, but that little thing should help and it will keep the water out, of course. We are now gonna push the windshield up and out. We're gonna stick it on top of here. I have my trusty assistant, <laughs> Travis, here to help me. So yeah. Oh. So this is what it's looking like. We have two kids, so that's just the reality of trying to get most things done when you're home with kids. But yeah, so now we'll take this out, we'll do a little vacuum, clean it out, and keep going. What are you doing, Trav? Clean the gunk and dirt off the edge of the glass. So everything fits nice. 
I'm probably gonna have to actually clean it with some. Obviously just giving it a little clean now because it's absolutely disgusting. I have one of my kids on my back. This is Waylon. So if you see a little baby head poking through, that's him because he's, well now he's trying to get out. But yeah, he's pretty much glued to me. So trying to do anything when they're out here is super hard. <laughs> I'll need like a five second clip of this at some point. So now that we have that rubber piece in, we're going to install it into the car. Trav is kind of taking lead on, the, on this because, I don't know, I'm struggling today, still not feeling good, and he's way better at all this, obviously. So I'll let him explain what we're doing. All right, so we're going to use this string here and put it inside... Where is it? One of these. Oh my god, this here. Put all the way around. So when it's in there, hopefully, we can pull the string along the edge and it'll unflap the rubber onto the pinch weld. Hopefully. Uh, it's a little thin. I know people use rope that's a little thicker than this, but I hope this will not break on us. Um, so, let's do that and uh, try to get this to work. Look at that girl. Stella. You looking at daddy? Oh. Mama. High five, high five, high five, good, good. <laughs> well, we had a little intermission. The kids are down for a nap, so now we can hopefully get this back in there a little easier. So Trav is just putting in a little oil around the edges as I fall down. To hopefully help it to get in a little bit easier. It's gonna be so quick. Well, I don't think it's gonna be quick. <laughs> <laughs> speed it up.
so the windshield cracked. Mind my teeth. So yeah. That's just kind of... <laughs> yeah. The windshield cracked. So I guess that's it for that. <laughs> Alright guys, so after that whole debacle, I just kind of cleaned up and kind of called it a day with that car or my car the bmw i don't know it was an accident of course but still a bummer so i just went to harbor freight i got a tarp so i'll just be putting the tarp back on and then i'll have to pull a car back out because it's small garage small shop hopefully youtube helps the bills here and we can eventually get a bigger shop so i don't have to keep bringing the car in and out of our tiny little not even 500 square foot garage so that will be something to look forward to. Hopefully you guys are interested in this journey. And don't forget, I do have the 36 coming in too. So yeah, just thank you guys for rolling with this video. I know it was kind of all over the place. Trust me, it's not how I like things run. I like things a little more smooth and like, you know what I mean, organized. So I apologize that this video was kind of all over the place, but thank you if you made it to the end. I seriously appreciate it so much. And as always, I'll see you guys next time here at Kelly Builds.